In this lesson, we are going to create a drop-down box. To begin, let's scroll up to the right-hand side, and underneath our task, we're going to click on Add New Field, and scroll down and click on Drop-down box. As we move our mouse over, you will see that we have our drop-down box field, and we'll use our guidelines to place it. Once you have the field where you want it, simply left-click your mouse to place it. Now to adjust our drop-down box, we want to scroll down here to the right-hand side, and when our cursor turns into the double arrows, you want to left-click, hold the mouse down, and simply drag the field into place. Now we're going to right click on our drop down box and left click on properties. In the drop down property box, we can change the name of our drop down and we can put in our tooltip. Next thing we're going to do is go to our appearance tab and click on appearance. And we can change our font size to 10. Next, we're going to click on our option tab. In the Option tab is where we're going to add our drop-down items. We can type in our first item under the Item text box. The export value is a value that would be exported into another program. So then I can type in Item 1 again, click Add, and you see that the item is added to our list. We will continue to add a couple of items into our list until we have all of them listed in our list item list box. Now that all of our items are under our item list box, we can decide the order we want to make them. For example, if I wanted my Z item to come up to the very top, I simply click and highlight my Z item and push the up button to move it. If I want to move it down, simply push down. If I want all of my items here to sort by alphabetical and numerical, I would hit click sort items and you'll see that the Z item moved to the bottom. If I would like users to add text to the drop down box, I would simply check the allow user to enter text, leave the check spelling checked, and we can commit selected values immediately. If I wanted to put directions in for my users, I would type in the word select so they would know that they would need to select an item. I'd go ahead and hit add, click my select, and I want it to come up to the top. But you notice because I have sort items, it's not mo moving. So I'd simply uncheck my sort items, highlight my select, and move it all the way up to the top. Now that all my items are in place, I'm going to hit close. I'm going to come to preview to preview my drop down box. As you see, I have my directions to my users. And when they click on the box, they can now select their items.